What is up people, Mr. Falior here bringing you another video. It's going to be dark for a second until I get out here. Um, so I'm just wondering, this is a shot in the dark because I know not many people watch my videos. But I'm just wondering, just in case, one of you may know this problem. But if you've seen yesterday's video, you know that my car, once again, um left me stranded once again this time at Walmart so I'm just wondering if anybody knows this problem right it's in it's a 2002 PT Cruiser for those of you interested um, that way you know like how old it is and all that um, when it doesn't start right it makes no noise at all nothing no click 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 no a attempting to start and then stopping nothing completely silent all of the lights and stuff in the car and all that work and are just as bright as when the car is actually on <sighs> When the car doesn't start, I leave after around an hour, two hours, or the next day, and we come back to wherever the car left me that day, it'll start right up. But if we keep trying it and trying it and trying it and trying it, we could be there an hour, we could be there two hours. We keep trying and trying and trying it, giving it a five minute break, trying it, trying it, trying it, giving it a 10 minute break, trying it, trying it, trying it. It doesn't start. But we leave it for like an hour or two, maybe sometimes longer, and come back. It will start so far every single time. What is it? What's the problem? Because obviously it's not the freaking ignition. That's been changed already anyway. But it can't be the ignition. It's not going to... It doesn't have a time limit on it that, that once you wait a certain amount of time it's going to start again. It's not the starter. That was changed three different times. And the starter normally, if it's if it's the starter, it'll go click, 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 you know. Um, the thing that, uh, that detects the keys, uh, teeth of the key, that thing was changed too, just in case that's the problem, but that, again, won't have a time limit on it. That one would just be a, a try it a bunch of times and then one of those times would work type of deal. Um, the key detection system sounds like it could be a thing, but that one was also changed. Um, like the, the, the computer chip inside of the key, um, because even though it's a 2002, uh, PT Cruiser, it sounds old, but it still has a little computer chip on the inside of the key. It's not a computer key. It still needs the regular key, you know, like the, I mean, it's it, the key itself to turn the engine. It still uses that, but that key has a little chip inside of it because it's old, but it's not that old. Um, that was changed. Um, again, though, that's not really a timer thing, is it? I don't know. Maybe. Um, so I wanted to see if maybe it was a distance thing as well. So, like, I walk all the way to the opposite end of Walmart, on the inside of Walmart, walk around there for a little bit, come back out. It doesn't, still doesn't work. So, I don't know. That, that should be enough distance away from the car for the car not to detect that the key's around anymore, right? pretty sure with the car being in the parking lot and then you going inside which already blocks the way to the car and then going all the way to the opposite end of the store the farthest end to the car and then coming back and then it's still not working so it can't be that right so what's left like we tried with the battery, we, we tried jump starting it with, with my stepdad's car and all that, and of course, like, that didn't work, um, 
because once again, all the lights in the car are as bright as they can be. They're not dead, they're not dying. So it can't be the battery, right? I don't know. But again, the battery wouldn't have a time limit on it, would it? Does it require it being cold for it to work again? I don't know. Um, and then like once the battery starts getting hot, like it chooses not to turn the car on anymore. I don't know. Should I replace the battery? I don't know. I don't have that much money to, to spare to test each and everything to see if this is the problem, this is the problem, this is the problem, this is the problem. So I don't know. Um, if you have any idea, if you have any idea to lead me in the right direction, something leave it in the comments below because I have no idea I've been to three different mechanics so far although we just recently figured out that it seems to be a timing issue which none of those three uh, mechanics know yet um, so that could be helpful to them but I'm just wondering if anybody else out there knows <laughs> but anyway uh, that's it so I'll see you guys next time, and this just adds more stress to me, but, you know. Anyway, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.